If you are looking for a way how to create letters to your customers at scale, combination of Google Sheets, Google Docs and Make.com offers a very simple, affordable and scalable solution. So let's take a look at this. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you a redo of my old popular video how to create automated letters to your customers with envelope, with customized envelope and customized letter using Google Sheets and the program which was called previously Integromat, now it got rebranded to make.com. So this will be that short scenario and the description in the description of this video you will find the link to this Google Sheet so that you can use it as a as a base as well as this document template that you can customize as well as the envelope and you can either create the new scenarios from the scratch following this video or you can import the blueprint um, as well so let me just start quickly with the blueprint and there are two versions of that blueprint so one of them includes the same scenario as I had in the past and the second version. The second scenario includes extra PDF module so that this PDF module can be attached to Gmail. So you can see that um, basically there are two different uh, different blueprints if you would like to download one of the blueprints but what I will do now I'll just go through that scenario with PDF so that you can recreate it. So you can see that this is a very simple scenario and here we'll start with Google Sheets. So the first part is to create your connection to Google Sheets. Once you establish that connection, that the next stage it will be to find the copy that you make from this particular uh, Google Sheet or whatever Google Sheet you would like to use in this case. So once this open, you have to find the proper spreadsheet and the next step is the Google Sheet. If you are using the same Google Sheet as I have, it should populate automatically. And the next element is that what we are doing here, we are having a simple filter that says whether this letter should be sent out and you can see that on this table we are basically deciding which document should be generated in a very simple way. If it says yes means we should generate document for that. If it's done already we should not generate because it has been already created. So that is why we are saying that the status column does not exist means that column is empty. So that's the step number one. Here in between we have one more module that checks whether these, these elements are empty. And the next step is we are creating the letter using our template. So obviously we need to connect. And the next step would be also to find the document ID of that template. So you will see here what populates over here are a bit strange numbers, but what you basically have to do is just click on top of uh, this folder list because now it's showing just the ID of the folders and click on top and start looking for your template that you have copied from the link or your custom template. So in this case, we will just look for the template. And this is the folder when we have saved everything and we we'll select the welcome letter template. Okay. And then if your document has the same placeholders like the date created, first name and so on, those will be automatically visible over here. And you can see that here we are adding the data from the first first module. So once you would click here, the all the columns from each of the row are showing showing over here. So you can select which one should go in which which place here because I'm using the blueprint it automatically populates with the names and you can see also that here at the end I need to also find the document location so I'll just delete everything here turn off the map and then choose the folder documents to print so this would be the folder that contains all the documents and I'll also do a trick over here so that I don't have to type it one more time I will do copy paste change it to map copy paste change it back no I will not change it back I'll just do copy paste because this is the correct folder and now go back to the envelope and select the envelope here as well so here I'll just go at the very end and since I know the folder I'll just copy paste it 
old folder or you can alternatively just look for it like like it's here so basically select the folder that you had and then and here the envelope template okay and the same way all the information like the address city state zip and so on all the curly braces template uh, fields that we have created here all of them are visible here and uh, the blueprint already have all of those connected so um, that is automatically matching then the destination folder we have over here fine okay and one element that we are doing is we are once we create those templates we are updating the spreadsheets here you would also have to select which spreadsheets you are updating so you can do it either by path or you can also enter manually the name of the that spreadsheets and you will find this from beginning over here so there will be the spreadsheet ID and here we need to select the column range and you will see that once you select the column range in the column number K you have the word done which means we are going back into this status over here and we are updating this to done so we will click OK and here as an example I just wanted to show you how you can apart from having those documents saved as Google Docs how you can also get them as a PDF document so I will add a connection to Google Drive module over here okay and you will see that we are downloading the letter using the file ID document ID and then specifically here rather than downloading uh, like a document format we have selected PDF which means we would be able to for example attach that PDF to an email so here you can see that this can be a note that you're sending to yourself hey the documents are ready um, this is the document that should be printed out so you can send it to yourself or your team and so on so we'll just do a quick test and by the way adding the attachment is is very simple so automatically if you are just doing this from the scratch whenever you click add attachment the previous module with the PDF will get mapped automatically so let's try to run this scenario first so here we will say not done which means that this letter should be created okay so let's press run once and you can see that the letter is being created the envelope is being created as well as the email sent out so here you can see that the status has been updated inside of our documents to print right now we have the envelope for that particular company and let's also check our email you can see that the email has been you can see that the envelope has been filled up with the name of uh, Cecilia the same with the letter the amount 6000 same as on our plan over here so let's see the email inside of Gmail now all right and also inside of Gmail we can see that we have just received this letter together with the attachment so you could send as attachment only this letter or you could also add an envelope as attachment to add envelope you would have to clone this module change the document ID to the second one envelope document ID over here and then here add the second attachment and then select the second attachment and this way you would get both attachments inside of your email all right i hope this was useful for you so this is a very quick update to an older scenario so uh, let me know if this was helpful and um, what other business processes you guys would be interested to automate thank you very much and have a good rest of your day bye mm -hmm.